Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have four cards for you today using Impression Obsession Falling Leaves Stamp Set. My panels are 140 pound watercolor Stratmore watercolor paper. I went ahead and mounted all my images that I want to use on my Stamp Perfect and I'm going to ink them up with Versamark ink and emboss it with Ranger Gold Embossing Powder. I did the same thing on the second panel. I'm going to ink up the images and stamp it on the paper. And then I'm going to emboss it with uh, the Tan Rose Gold Embossing Powder. And I'm using coffee filter to catch the excess and then I'll just funnel that back in the container when I'm done. And I'm going to melt all the powder using my heat tool. I use this shoe box here when I do my heat embossing so I don't accidentally burn my fingers. It has tape under to hold the paper so it won't move. To color my panels, I use my Daniel Smith watercolor paints and I also use some of my Zig Clean Color real brush markers. So I'm going to add some music here while I'm coloring and then I'll be back when the coloring is done. I cut one fourth inch on each side of my panels using my Fiskars trimmer. I use DCWB Glitzy Glitter and cut a strips of paper that will go on the sides of the panels. Before I adhere this panel on the card base, I distress the edges using tumble glass distress oxide. As you can see, the other panel already adhered on the card base. I removed it and also distressed the edges with hickory smoke distress oxide and adhere it again on the card base. I thought something still missing on the panels, so I used distress oxides. After the distressing is done, I added the strips of gold glitter paper on the card base and then adhere the panel on top of it and then just trim the excess paper using my Fiskars trimmer. For the sentiment, I used this Hello die that came with my Gemini Junior die cutting machine when I bought it. I die cut the sentiment using a dark blue shimmer cardstock from my stash. I also went ahead and die cut the sentiment fall from the same paper using my favorite things bottle cup letters. I also die cut a couple of vellum using stitch oval die. I'm using my Zaron sticker maker for the small letters and I just use glossy accent on the sentiment hello and I'm going to 
adhere the fold sentiment first on the vellum and just use a little dab of glossy accents on the hello sentiment. And again, a little bit of glossy accents on the back of the vellum and then adhere it on the card. For the inside of the card, I use one of the leaves from the Impression Obsession Falling Leaves Stump Set. And I also use another sentiment from Inky Antics Leaves and Trees Stump Set and ink them up with Collider Color Tomato Vine Ink. Stump a couple of times to get good impression. For my embellishments, I use Diamond Rainbow Brights from Little Things from Lucy's Cards. I scatter some of the gems on the cards and I use glossy accents to adhere them on the cards. I also flatted shimmer on the leaves with Spectrum Nor Sparkle Pen. I lost that footage and I don't know what happened. And my fall cards are finished. I hope you enjoyed today's cards. Sorry I didn't get a chance to upload a video last week as we are busy with appointments on that week. I hope everyone had a good weekend and thank you so much for always watching, liking, commenting, and subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. I hope you like today's cards and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.